it's Jess here from Jess McClellan Designs and today I'm going to share a short video with you on printing from Silhouette um, Studio to, uh, an, in my case, an Epson 2720 sublimation printer. I have seen a lot of people um, ask questions or say that they weren't sure how to print from Silhouette and so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I just want to share that I do not have a Silhouette cutting machine. I actually have a Cricut. I prefer printing from Silhouette when it comes to printing designs for sublimation printing um, and it was free on their website so they have a free version which you can download at silhouetteamerica.com I will post that in the comment section um, or in my description below um, but otherwise let's go ahead and get started so here we go I have Silhouette Studio opened up on my computer again you do not have to have a Silhouette cutting machine to use Silhouette Studio. You can download it for free on their website at silhouetteamerica.com. So once you have Silhouette Studio downloaded and opened on your computer, you're going to see something like this, where you have your cutting board in the background and then you have your, um, you know, media size, whatever that might be. Now I am printing to a 2720, so I have my media size set to letter paper, which you can adjust right here. So depending on the printer that you have and what you can print, you want to make sure that you set that up. That's going to just help you make sure that you're staying within your guidelines and not, you know, having images that are going to go beyond that. You can actually print larger if you're going to be doing multiple prints, um, and we will save that for another day. <laughs> for today, though, we're just going to focus on getting a document or getting an image and graphic and printing from Silhouette Studio to your Epson 2720. So here you have your print border and your cut borders. You want to make sure you keep these on. These are just going to help you stay within those lines. Make sure you're really watching to make sure nothing gets cut off when printing. So I've got my print border. I've got my cut border. My paper matches my size and I am good to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get an image and you can directly um, design within Silhouette Studio. We'll save that again something for another day. Our focus today is going to be taking something that you already have saved on your computer and bringing it here. So you have two options for this. You can either use this envelope and open something up, which is what we're going to do to start. I'm just going to open up a random image here and I'm going to click it and I'm going to resize it. Now sometimes, depending on what you're printing, you might want to do more than one image on a print so that you can use up your paper as best as possible. If you go to your envelope again and you open something up, it's going to take this place. So you want to make sure that you go ahead to your finder or wherever you have your documents and go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my finder and I'm going to choose again another random image. Now at this point, before I choose my image and drag it over to Silhouette Studio, when you do that, you kind of get this weird lagging. And I have seen other people complain about this also, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you my fix. Um, again, it is like a little bit of an extra step, but it fixes it so that you're not trying forever to figure out why you can't adjust your image. So when you first click and drag, automatically just kind of pauses and starts loading. Right now, I'm holding my, my mouse down and I'm moving this. As soon as you can move this, you're good. You can go in, you can click it, and you can move it. Had I not done that, so if I just go to my finder, and let's take another image and I just pull this and let it go. Well now it's working. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you'll end up at a point where you try to click it and it's almost like it's just in the background and you can't click on it. Pulling it and holding it and dragging it fixes that. So if you have that issue, just do that. Again, this kind of works because you can see that you can put as many images as fit on your paper so that you really can use this up. From here, you literally just print. But you can do two things when it comes to mirroring. Remember when you are sublimation printing, you wanna make sure that you are mirroring your image so that you don't have a backwards print on your garment or whatever you're printing onto. So at this point, you can select everything, just shift, click, shift, click, shift, click, object mirror, and you can mirror everything. If you do this, you wanna make sure that your printer is not set to mirror. Otherwise, you're going to get it back to normal. So I like to just keep it normal. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go to File Print. And I'm going to wait. And then you'll see that your settings are very basic, just your scale, your printer, and your paper size. So that's going to stay. 
and then I'm going to go to print and this is where you're going to choose any specific settings for the type of paper you're using, your colors. So at this point, if you have not downloaded the drives from Epson, you are not going to see all of these options. Initially I did not and that was because I didn't download them. But once you have them downloaded, you'll know if you have all of this here. So you're just going to go to print settings. Now again, this is something that is personal preference. Some people I know use normal paper, normal quality, they say it's fine. For me, I ended up with a bit of a dull image, so for me, presentation paper matte at quality works well. And then again, you want to make sure you hit that mirror image if you didn't mirror it inside of Silhouette Studio. At this point, you just hit print, and you're golden. You're good to go. So guys, I hope that that was easy enough. Um, pretty straightforward. You just want to make sure that you mirror, you have your settings, but otherwise it's really just like printing from a Word document. And that's it, you guys. I hope that you found this helpful. Again, if you have any questions or any specific things that you want to see um, in regards to printing from Silhouette or printing to an Epson 2720, please feel free to leave them down below. And then make sure that you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more like it. Thanks. Have a great day.